Hey, what's up guys? Now it's been a while since I've done a video game pickups video. So I've been pretty busy lately, whether it's collecting for the Nintendo Switch or for my Sony PlayStation. So I thought I'd share some of my recent pickups with you guys and let you know what I'm currently playing. So I've actually even picked up some games for the 3DS and I recently picked up a copy of Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Actually a really rare game and I've done some of the more recent pre-orders for the physical Shantae and Risky's Revenge carts because they're now available for the Switch. So I'm going to pick those up, got me Pirate's Curse and then some of the more recent Shantae games I've actually got on the PS4. On the topic of Nintendo and Nintendo Switch, I've actually been really busy. So I'm currently at the moment enjoying my playthrough of Mario Odyssey. Absolutely incredible. I'm just loving the exploring and the picking up of the moons. That's really great fun. Breath of the Wild. Now I actually played this through on the Wii U when that very first came out. But we've now got the, the better resolution um, Switch version. So I think I will at some point start the adventure here. I've got quite a, f a few like Zelda remasters HD versions to play, but you know, this, this is pretty epic and I've still got to find all those dungeons. He's got the all stars. So probably after I've played through Odyssey, I might give this bad boy a whirl. And um, Sunshine is where I am at because I've actually never played that through before. So that should be pretty cool. He's got himself Xenoblade or Xenoblade Chronicles, and it is the definitive edition. So I actually never ever owned this game. I kind of skipped the Wii version. I was almost going to get it on the new 3DS because that was like really awesome. That was like the best version. But now we've got the Switch one. I will at some point play this through, but I do really want to play X on the Wii U as well. So those that are aware of Xenoblade and the, the way that the games work, what do you recommend? Would you play Chronicles first or would you play X on the Wii U? Let me know your thoughts. We've got Trials Rising. Now these kind of games are always fun. I had the game prior to that on the PS4, which was always fun to play. So I thought I'd pick up this gold edition like expansion version of rising because i haven't played that before so that should be pretty awesome link's awakening now i couldn't not get this game because it does just look absolutely beautiful on the switch i do have the dx version to play on game boy color as well um, but i've never actually played link's awakening through i kind of never really got stuck in to the handheld Zelda games. So I've got, I've got some fun and some experiences to have with this, that's for sure. You can't get a Nintendo Switch and not pick up Octopath Traveler if you're a fan of RPGs and I think turn-based battle as well, but I remember seeing some, some footage and trailers for this game back when that first came out and it looks absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna look forward to playing that. Oh. Astral Chain. Now, a Nintendo Switch exclusive, I think. This game looks absolutely incredible. Um, it's going to be right up there with games like Bayonetta, Devil May Cry, but this looks a beautiful game as well. It looks, looks one to watch, guys. This looks an incredible game. Oh, he's done it again. My love of the little fat pink blob. How many times have I bought Kirby games, but I never get around to playing them. I absolutely like love Kirby. Kirby is one of those things where like I just love the mascot, I love the character, I love the game and gameplay but I rarely ever get around to actually playing one. Like I might have a little dabble, have a little go but I don't know, would you reckon Star Allies is that any good guys? Let me know if you think I should get on this one sooner than later. And we got Yoshi's Crafted World. I still haven't played Woolly World on the Wii U but I don't know, what do you guys think? Is Crafted World a must play? Should I play this before I play Woolly World? Or should I just jump straight in on this one? To the world of PS4. Now I haven't been picking up too many PS4 games recently and I actually want to make a video on this guys on why I'm not gonna be like picking up any of the new PS4 games. But every now and then there's like a little historic release or especially things like Strictly Limited or Limited Run Games, Super Rare Games, those kind of things. 
Um, if there's like a limited physical, sometimes I'll really want that. And I happened to stumble across a little eBay bundle. So I've got myself a few pickups here, which I didn't actually plan on picking up. But I really love this game, first of all, and I got this one um, digitally because it was like really cheap on sale. And that is Bleed. That's an absolutely really, really cool little pixel shooter game. And then we got Bleed 2 as well. I haven't tried this one, but they are fantastic games. Um, I saw them in this bundle, for like limited run games, and I had to pick it up. And it was a super good deal because it was kind of like, it worked out like about 10 pound a game. Um, I don't know, there was a couple of others. We got Rad Rogers, and we've got, I'm going to have to read this, Agalos, Agalos. I don't know anything about these games, but they do look good. And yeah, there was those four games in the bundle, and I thought, I just, I have to have them. It was such a good deal. Um, and yeah, I picked them up. So what do you guys think of my recent physical pickup games? I think I've done really well. Um, it has to be said as well, actually, only a couple of those Switch games did I buy brand new. Um, because... I don't know, you guys know Switch games kind of hold their value, they're always like really highly priced. But quite a lot of them I actually hung out and bought them pre-owned for like a good discount on them. I've searched around for a while over the last few weeks to pick those up because I wanted to start my collection but I wanted to try to like not spend too much money on them at first. And if I can get a very good or a light new copy kind of for like 10 to 15 pounds off, you know, for me that is the way to go. Um, hopefully I can pick the games up cheap and then they're worth more money in the future and that way it just feels that I'm not like spending so much money on the games, you know what I mean. What is your favourite game out of that bunch that I picked up? Particularly for the Nintendo Switch, which game do you think I should grab next? What should be my go-to game after I played Mario Odyssey? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Please smash this a like. Hit the channel a subscribe if you enjoyed this content and you're not already following the channel. I'll give you a double thumbs up for that. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video where I may or may not be waving my hands and arms around as much. I don't know, maybe I just got the hype for the new games there. Catch you later guys. Yes mate. Yes mate.